The Anai began with a teenager enjoying the beautiful weather and the wind blown peacefully. He was the main character this time, his name was Tanaka Kun. Not long after that, someone came, none other than his best friend, Uda. He no longer understood why Tanaka was asleep there even though the doorbell had already rung. As a result, Uda carried him back to class. Tanaka did have unique habits. He was lazy every day. At school, all he did was sleep and look for peace. But often he slept too much and felt tingling around his body. It turned out there were also risks if he slept too much. Then that day, they studied alone because the teacher was unable to attend. Tanaka used this time to sleep. Only this time, it felt less comfortable to lie around because the seat moved so the wind wasn't felt enough for him. Not long after his friend beside him had moved, he immediately moved and fell asleep soundly. Even though he was lazy, Tanaka also played sports. That day, the sport was playing badminton. Before playing, they warmed up first. Tanaka was a really lazy person. He preferred to rest. After warming up, they played together. They looked like Uda was very enthusiastic and his swings were very fast. When Tanaka tried to return the opponent's swing, his racket flew towards the opposing team. As a result, his friends Shimura and Katu took Tanaka to rest first. Tanaka felt bored because he didn't know what to do. He had an idea to calm his head using an unused shuttlecock. Meanwhile, the rest who were playing badminton ran out of shuttlecock. Uda played very rough, so the ball went here and there. When they saw Tanaka, it could only remain silent because all the unused shuttlecocks were made into toys. During their break, Tanaka and Uda bought food according to their preferences. Only this time, they didn't know why their food was swapped. When he wanted to eat, Uda told Tanaka, who liked to be lazy, had to do physical exercise so he wouldn't get unwanted illnesses. Suddenly, Tanaka, who was eating, was stabbed in the lip by bread until it bled. As a result, he didn't want to continue eating. Tanaka was very poor, even physical training was still inferior to the bread he ate. Tanaka thought that instead of having to do physical exercise, it would be better for him to be tingling than being tired. When he came home from school, Tanaka saw a poster of a singer or artist. Tanaka said that he didn't want to be a main character because it was too much trouble for him. Being an extra was better because it's not often in the spotlight. After that, they bought ice cream. Tanaka said he didn't want to feel bothered. Not long after, a small child asked Oda for help because his ball was stuck in a tree. When Tanaka saw Uda take the ball, he thought that Uda was suitable to be the main character. He could also do homework. Uda was a perfect person. Tanaka said that he had a family Oda might marry. The next day, Uda saw that Tanaka was getting worse that day. The level of laziness had increased again. Not long after, Katu asked for help to bring something to the office. Tanaka, who had been supporting his chin with both hands, had difficulty removing his hands from his chin. In the end, two people carried one item. Finally, Uda helped them. Afterward, they drank from the taps and went back to class. The next lesson was choir. Because Tanaka could play the piano, he was the one who played. At first it was cool, but it only got worse when Tanaka changed his chords to something scary and gloomy, which made the students and teacher horrified to hear. It was a sign that Tanaka was starting to get tired. When the teacher approached Tanaka, Tanaka shouted and shocked everyone. Everyone was confused about what was wrong with Tanaka, especially Uda, who misinterpreted Tanaka's scream. After Tanaka screamed, Shimura concluded that he had fallen in love. Uda tried to find the truth. It was already afternoon and Tanaka hadn't come home yet. Uda seduced him with ice cream, but to no avail. Finally, Uda forced him until his bag fell. Uda saw a note in Tanaka's fallen book. Apparently, Tanaka had a schedule to go to the dentist. Uda finally understood Tanaka's strangeness from morning to evening. It turned out he didn't want to go to the dentist. Uda immediately took him by force. When he came home from the dentist, Tanaka didn't look happy. Tanaka intended to improve the way he brushed his teeth. While thinking that, he fell asleep. Seeing this, Uda immediately took him home. Long story short, Tanaka visited a temple early in the morning. Coincidentally, he met Uda who asked him why he had gone to the temple so early in the morning. Tanaka prayed that no one would disturb his peace that day. Tanaka spent all his money praying for his wish to be granted. If it didn't come true, he would be angry with God. Uda thought that this was forcing God by bribing him with a lot of money. While at school, Tanaka already found things that bothered him. There was a little girl who shouted if she wanted to be Tanaka's student. The girl's name was Miyano. She wanted to lie around like Tanaka so she looked like an adult. At first, Tanaka refused. But after thinking about it again, he finally accepted it. There was nothing to learn from him anyway. He believed that the next day Miyano would give up. It was better instead of him having to serve Miyano's requests every day. Hearing this, Miyano became happy. While the lesson was going on, Miyano tried to pay attention to Tanaka, starting from the expression in his eyes. Miyano imitated him, but she looked like someone glaring. 
Mayama tried again but instead looked like a sick person. After that, she was taken to the infirmary by the class president, Shireishi. After the break, Tanaka had a donut discount for three people. Mayano also wanted to come, but she had to be a quiet person. Only she failed to do so. Soon Tanaka was woken up by Oda because it was time to eat. But Tanaka said that he didn't want to eat yet even though his stomach was already really rumbling. As a result, Oda carried Tanaka to the cafeteria. If he didn't pamper Tanaka, then he wouldn't eat. Tanaka even had dreams of sleeping, eating, and defecating nearby. So he didn't have to walk far. Uba even thought that Tanaka wanted to go to prison. Meanwhile, Miyano continued to follow them while buying drinks. Tanaka bought a green tea drink. Miyano, who saw this, was also offered a drink by Uda. Miyano also wanted green tea. Meanwhile, Uda bought strawberry milk. Knowing that she had made the wrong choice, Miyano cried because some adults still like strawberry milk. Miyano hurried away from there. Miyano thought that she should not give up. Not long after, Shuri, she came and asked how Miyano was. After that, Mayano went to the library. She collected many books. It was late afternoon and she had managed to jot down a lot of material about lethargy. Mayano gave it to Tanaka. However, Tanaka did not understand Mayano's meaning and what the note contained. Mayano immediately fainted because her struggle was in vain. Tanaka said that Mayano didn't have to be like him. Mayano had the advantage of always working hard. So why did Mayano change it all? Mayano apparently liked someone. She wanted to lie around like Tanaka to appear like an adult. Even though Miyano was physically very short, Tanaka told her not to change. If the man liked Miyano, then he could accept Miyano as she was. If Miyano changed herself, then she would lose. After school, the three of them ate donuts. After eating donuts, Tanaka wanted to go home first because he wanted to go to the Izumo Shrine. Tanaka was determined to go out at night. Just as he was about to get on the train, Uda came and detained Tanaka. It turned out that Tanaka almost got on the wrong train. If he went up, then Tanaka was definitely going the wrong way. The next day, Tanaka got bad news from Uda. Suddenly, Miyano turned into a quite natural lazy person. Miyano had turned 90 degrees. When class started, Miyano was late coming in. She also said words that not many people understood. Because the situation was already quite dangerous, Uda and Tanaka followed her. Miyano was seen heading to a place that was not allowed to be entered. Luckily, Miyano was blocked by Tanaka and Uta. When they were discussing Miyano's height, Mayano suddenly changed back to normal. Mayano had already realized something. So far, there had been many advertisements on TV about mascots, many of which were the same size as her. She wondered whether the mascots were filled by people as tall as her or controlled by a remote. It was only because of that that Mayano returned to her original self. Whereas previously, Mayano was already a person with a high level of laziness. But unfortunately, Mayano didn't realize it. As a result, she was very disappointed. The next day, Tanaka went to the shrine again to pray for a peaceful day. This time, he threatened God again. When he arrived at school, he got into trouble again because he received a challenge letter from someone. After that, Tanaka and Uda ate. Initially, Uda was calm because this time Tanaka liked the menu. Only after looking into it again, he realized that Tanaka was very lazy. Eating also had to be practical because Tanaka didn't want to separate the fish spines from the meat. He also didn't want to eat tough nuts and fruit that had to be peeled first. As a result, Uda helped him eat. After eating, Tanaka looked very full. Suddenly, he fell down. It turned out he ate too much until he was really sleepy. Then Tanaka was taken to the school roof. Uda began to understand why Tanaka liked to hold back when he was hungry. Uda then asked about the challenge letter this morning, but Tanaka pretended not to know. It wasn't long before the challenge came. It turned out she was a Chizen. A Chizen was already waiting behind the gym, but Tanaka instead relaxed and slept. Uda and Ekshizen already knew each other and were in the same gang. Ekshizen was also Uda's childhood friend. He knew that Ekshizen liked cute things. Ekshizen insisted on wanting to compete with Tanaka. Tanaka had given up because in any game or competition, he would definitely lose. That was why Tanaka became lazy. Ekshizen felt the tension. Therefore, Ekshizen suggested they play easy games. Tanaka was strangely calm. Finally, Tanaka managed to control the match. Ishizen just found out that Tanaka liked to laze around but turned out to be very good at it. The game was changed. This time they played cards. Tanaka showed his skill at shuffling the cards. But the wind blew so the cards flew everywhere. Ishizen, who wore a long skirt, felt uncomfortable because her skirt got stepped on. Uda told her to wear a short skirt but she didn't want to and instead got angry. Then Ishizen asked why Miyano wanted to be Tanaka's student. Soon Miyano arrived. Instantly, Ichizen's attitude changed as a sweet girl. Tanaka said that Miyano would never be a lazy person. But Miyano still wanted to be a lazy person. Ichizen was still annoyed because Tanaka had made Miyano into a fool. 
Ichizen also told Miyano that she had competed against Tanaka, and she managed to win. Miyano instead supported Tanaka. She said that Tanaka was actually a strong person. Hearing this, Ichizen became angry again. Meanwhile, Tanaka felt at a loss because he agreed to become Miyano's teacher. The next day, Tanaka received another challenge letter from Ichizen. She won't stop if she doesn't win against Tanaka. On the other hand, Ichizen and Miyano were in a little fight. Tanaka, who passed by, didn't seem to care. However, Ichizen immediately grabbed Tanaka's collar and asked him to help her. It turned out that Miyano was angry with her because she didn't eat the cake Miyano gave her. Ichizen just kept it because the cake was too cute. It was so cute, the cake turned moldy. Therefore, Miyano was furious. Tanaka said Ichizen could take a photo of the cake, but Ichizen didn't have a cell phone. On the other hand, Miyano was still annoying when asked by Uda. When Oda found out, he was also angry because Ichizen had wasted sweet food. Then Ichizen tried to meet Miyano again, but she was still angry. Ichizen was furious. Tanaka advised her to write a letter. When she was writing a letter, Miyano was there. She accidentally saw the contents of the letter asking Miyano to compete. Miyano, who read that letter, became even angrier. Finally, Ichizen asked Tanaka for advice again. Tanaka had just been given a cake by Miyano. Ichizen was confused about why Miyano wanted to be Tanaka's student. Tanaka explained that Miyano liked someone. Therefore, she wanted to become an adult so she could match the person she liked. Ichizen just found out that Miyano liked someone, even though the two of them were quite close. Ichizen felt that Miyano didn't consider her a friend. Tanaka told her to quickly make up with Miyano. If she lived like Tanaka, then there would never be such a thing as a fuss. Tanaka would rather apologize even though he wasn't at fault because the prolonged fuss was not good. Miyano, who was nearby, immediately came out. She said that she actually made cakes for Ichizen, the person she liked, but Ichizen didn't understand. At that time, Ichizen understood why Miyano was angry with her. She didn't eat the cake Miyano made. This time, Ichizen would eat everything Miyano gives her. The next day, Miyano made another cake. Tanaka and Una also got a cake, but the shape of the cake was far from cute. The cakes were in the shape of a muscular man. Because they finally made up, Tanaka didn't have to deal with the two of them anymore. It was just that Miyano still wanted to be a lazy person. Ichizen also seemed interested in knowing how. Long story short, Oda and Tanaka arrived late. When they were about to enter, Shireishi suddenly appeared. As a result, it collided and the files she was carrying fell. Luda introduced Shiraishi to Tanaka. She was the class president of their class. She also had very good grades. Shiraishi was very beautiful, which was why she also had guards. Luckily, Shiraishi told all of her guards to leave. When they wanted to help Shiraishi, she refused. But it was only when Tanaka humbled himself that Shiraishi couldn't bear it. Then they headed to the photocopy. Many people were paying attention to Shiraishi there. Shiraishi and Uda didn't feel worried, but Tanaka instead covered himself with a jacket. He didn't want to be seen by many people. Soon they arrived, it was time for them to work. There was something wrong with the writing in the file, so Shiraishi edited it with a laptop. Uda was surprised because Shiraishi was really good. Meanwhile, he only used a laptop for the internet. Actually, Tanaka could use a laptop, but he never really showed it. While printing files, Tanaka felt happy holding the warm paper. It was so warm he planned to use the piles of paper as a cushion later. After that, it appeared that Tanaka was starving. Luckily, Shiraishi brought her homemade macarons, which were really delicious. It was said that Shiraishi's macarons were better than the famous macarons. Tanaka then ate it. Not long after that, he fell asleep. Shiraishi invited the two of them to just go home because that work would soon be finished. Uda had no other choice. He went home and had to carry Tanaka again. Not long after they came home, Shiraishi immediately changed her appearance to that of a geeky bookish girl. Since middle school, she was shunned by her friends because of her strange and geeky appearance. Finally, when she was in high school, Shiraishi decided to change herself and managed to enter high school. Many people liked her new appearance. However, Shiraishi had to endure wearing contact lenses for hours, makeup, and other things. When Shiraishi wanted to continue working, Uda came back to get Tanaka's bag, which he had left behind. The next day, Shiraishi panicked and stood in front of the classroom door. She was afraid that her true appearance would be spread. However, when she entered class, the situation was still safe. Not long after, Luda and Tanaka arrived. Shiraishi already had bad thoughts about what they had said. She continued to monitor the two of them everywhere. When Tanaka and the others were eating, he told them what happened yesterday. Then he asked Uda if Shiraishi was done with her work. When Oda returned to the room, he assumed Shiraishi had finished working because he saw someone else there. Shiraishi, who heard this, felt relieved. Shiraishi then went to the bathroom to calm down. She wanted to experiment using her original appearance. When Shiraishi came out of the bathroom, 
All of her friends were unaware of her presence. However, when she passed Tanaka and Uda, Tanaka immediately knew that she was Shireishi. Finally, like it or not, Shireishi told the two of them the truth that Shireishi was actually geeky. She kept herself because she wanted to be known by many people and have lots of friends. Tanaka felt proud because she was willing to work hard to hide her true identity from others. Moreover, Shireishi indirectly entertained many people. Shiraishi told Tanaka and Uda not to tell other people. Besides, even if they told other people, no one would believe them. It turned out that being famous like Shiraishi also had its drawbacks. The next day, Shiraishi started wearing glasses and no longer wore contact lenses. She found it strange why Tanaka and Uda knew who she was. The truth was that Tanaka saw that the shape of her breasts was the same. It was still early morning, but Tanaka was already surprised by Uda's blue hair tie. Not long after, Tanaka got a message that he was told to go shopping by his sister. He then asked Oda for help to remind him. While on their way, Uda found out that Tanaka had a younger sister, Tanaka Reno, who was still in middle school just like him. Uda's sister, Uda Saya, was actually Reno's best friend. At Tanaka's house, it was just him and his sister. This made Uda think strange things. He was confused about what would happen if Tanaka and his sister were just lazing around at home. Luckily, Tanaka's sister was the opposite of Tanaka. When he arrived at the supermarket, Tanaka couldn't remember what he wanted to shop for. While remembering that Uda offered necessities for the home. It was just that Tanaka didn't want to buy household necessities yet. Then Uda offered him to buy meat, but Tanaka chose chicken instead. Finally, Uda took a tissue that was on sale. Uda's motherly attitude made people around him attracted to him. Not long after, the reminder alarm sounded. It turned out that the items that must be purchased started with the letter P. Tanaka was sure that this would be difficult. In the end, Tanaka just bought food that started with the letter P apart from Uda having to take Tanaka shopping, he also had to pay for Tanaka's shopping. Uda felt unsure about what Tanaka bought. When they left the supermarket, there were people selling pancakes and coincidentally, there was a promotion too. Tanaka thought that maybe his sister had told him to buy pancakes. Finally, they bought pancakes. Feeling confident about his purchases, Tanaka went home. Uda was touched that Tanaka could finally shop according to orders. The next day, Tanaka was already in class early. When Oda approached him, Tanaka told him that yesterday's purchases were wrong. Tanaka was just told to buy pipe cleaners. Meanwhile, what Tanaka bought was all the food. As a result, the food that Tanaka bought yesterday was mixed by his sister into several foods so it wouldn't be wasted. Then, Uda invited him to buy pipe cleaners after school. On the other hand, since Tanaka and Uda knew Shireishi's true appearance, she had become more confident with her geeky appearance. Shireishi then remembered the time Tanaka fell asleep in the park. She couldn't bear to wake him even though the school bell had already rung. Luckily, there was Uda who, as usual, carried Tanaka back to class. Shireishi felt that she had feelings for Tanaka. That was why she always paid attention to Tanaka. Not long after, her friends arrived, Kitch and Miyoshi. Shireishi immediately said that she seemed to be falling in love with Tanaka. But this was the first time she liked a boy even though she was popular at school. Kitch and Miyoshi speculated that if they were dating, their guards would torture Tanaka every day. This was the first time Shireishi had confided in her friends and they didn't mind either. If it was true love, they would both support Shireishi. After that, Shireishi continued to observe Tanaka. She had to find a way to get along with Tanaka. She hoped that the incident of colliding with each other could happen again. But when she wanted to try again, Uda caught her. Finally, Shireishi asked Uda if Tanaka liked someone. Because according to her, Tanaka always went everywhere with Uda. Uda was thinking, if he said Tanaka had a girlfriend, Tanaka actually didn't want to date. This way, Shireishi felt safe because she still had the opportunity to be close to Tanaka. As a result, she went to his class to meet Tanaka so that she would be the only girl who was close to Tanaka. But instead, she saw that Tanaka and Miyano were very close. Shiraishi felt a little jealous. Miyano and Tanaka looked at her. Shiraishi panicked and left immediately. Soon, Miyano came to her. She immediately brought Shiraishi before Tanaka. She said that Shiraishi wanted to be Tanaka's student too. Miyano had misunderstood. Tanaka said not to make him their teacher. But Miyano refused because she just wanted to be lazy like him. Shiraishi took advantage of the situation to befriend Tanaka. But Tanaka thought that they were already friends. Then they exchanged cell phone numbers. Miyano knew that Shiraishi was in love. The next morning, the weather looked rainy. Tanaka got caught in the rain even though he was actually carrying an umbrella. Because according to him, the rain wasn't that big so he didn't use his umbrella. But the longer the rain went on, the bigger it got. But because he was lazy, he still didn't use his umbrella. Even though Uda said that umbrellas had many benefits, Tanaka wouldn't listen to him. On the other hand, Shireishi, looking at the field, was imagining if only later she could walk using an umbrella together with Tanaka. 
Because she fantasized a lot, she felt that Tanaka was really in front of her. But after she realized, it turned out that what was in front of her was Tanaka. He was standing in the field alone under the rain. Tanaka tried to use anti-water repellent power. For Uda, that was the most ridiculous thing. Why would there be an umbrella if humans had that kind of power? Shirashi, who saw Tanaka in the rain, also told him to use an umbrella. She was afraid that Tanaka would end up getting sick, which would end up causing trouble for himself. Tanaka realized it too. But what made him lazy, some people liked to steal his umbrella. Finally, Tanaka went home together with Shiraishi under one umbrella. Shiraishi's dream came true. It seemed that Tanaka wanted to get closer to Shiraishi, but Shiraishi refused because she was nervous. It could be seen that one of Tanaka's shoulders was not covered by an umbrella and ended up soaking wet. The next day, Tanaka got caught in the rain again. He still did ridiculous things. That day, he was in the rain to learn how to avoid raindrops. But the result was the same. As a result, the next day, he had a sore throat, so he wore a mask. Luda, who saw Tanaka sick, felt sorry for him. He advised not to talk too much because his voice was hoarse. Tanaka would try using lip language. However, if he wore a mask, other people could not see the movement of his lips. Finally, he communicated using writing. However, because it was complicated for two people to write while speaking, in the end, only Tanaka wrote. The next day, when Tanaka wanted to write, he forgot his book. Uda then told him to borrow a book from Ekshizen, because he didn't know anyone else from the other class. Tanaka went straight to the side class. He seemed confused about writing Ekshizen's name because it was so difficult. So Tanaka told Oda to change her surname to Tanaka and Uda because it was easier. After that, Ichizen replied that it would take them both 100 years to accept their proposal. Tanaka and Uda were confused about what Ichizen really meant. Then, Oda tried to change their way of communicating to body language. At first, Tanaka understood because his movements were easy to predict. However, when Tanaka suddenly became silent, Uda became suspicious. Maybe Tanaka had other habits. Tanaka might have had telepathic abilities. After that, Tanaka took off his mask. Her face looked very smooth. That was because he kept wearing a mask. The next day, he recovered. There seemed to be something strange about Tanaka. He wasn't his usual self. Tanaka said that when he wore a mask, he liked to try out different styles of facial expressions. So that expression carried over to now when he no longer wore a mask. On the other hand, Shizen was seen rushing. She just realized that Tanaka and Uda tried to propose to her with yesterday's writing. Ishizen pretended to be confused, pretending to choose between the two people. Ishizen also planned to cut her skirt to make her look like a woman. However, Mayano forbade it because she was afraid that Ichizen would lose her identity. Ichizen then asked Miyano if she changed her surname between Oda and Tanaka, which one would be more suitable. When Miyano gave her advice, Ichizen chose Tanaka instead. Soon Tanaka passed by and Miyano immediately approached him. Tanaka was very gentle with Miyano. This made Ichizen jealous. However, Tanaka said that he really liked people who were tall and strong. Ichizen was even embarrassed. Even though what Tanaka meant was Uda, she felt happy hearing that. Ichizen then walked but almost tripped over his own skirt. Luckily, Uda held him back. Ichizen's face turned red. He immediately ran away. However, Ichizen was in a hurry and fell down the stairs. Uda tried to help her, but Ichizen was embarrassed. Finally, Uda carried Ichizen. Ichizen still refused until she finally fell. After being treated in the medical room, Ichizen explained why she behaved like that. Uda guessed it must be all about the surnames. Yesterday's writing was not a form of proposal. It was just that Tanaka had difficulty writing Ichizen's name. Besides, Tanaka was sick at that time, so he was too lazy to write his own name. That was why Uda suggested writing a name that was easy to say and write, which was similar to their name, namely Echen. That day, the weather was very cold. Tanaka, who had just returned from washing his hands, was surprised to find there was chocolate in his bag. It was a Valentine's gift. He was afraid of such a gift. He had no problem accepting the chocolate. However, Tanaka hesitated to take it because he wouldn't be able to reciprocate the feelings of the person who gave it to him. In the past, he also bought Valentine's chocolate. Uda suggested replying this time. Not long after, more chocolate arrived. But this time, the chocolate was for Uda. It seemed Uda got cheap chocolate, but he was grateful that he didn't get anything at all. On the other hand, Shimura couldn't get any chocolate at all. Kantu speculated that the chocolate was put in when they were outside. That person must be in the same class as them. Then there was a letter in it. The letter was not handwritten. Those who read the letter felt horrified because it looked like a criminal letter. Not long after Katu arrived, Tanaka immediately accused him, which of course was not him. Luda tried to guess who gave Tanaka the chocolate. He thought it could be a gift from Miyano because Tanaka was close to Miyano. Then they tried to find out. However, it turned out that Miyano forgot to give chocolate to the two of them. That meant she wasn't the sender. 
After finding out that Miyano wasn't the one who sent it, Tamaka became lazy. He didn't want to eat the chocolate because he was afraid of something wrong. But Luda told him to try first, who knew his feelings might change. Finally, Tanaka opened the chocolate and found it tasted delicious. But when Uda opened his chocolate, it didn't taste sweet at all. Seeing this, Tanaka gave his chocolate to Uda. When Uda tasted the chocolate, it was very delicious. He suspected that it was homemade chocolate and not bought at the supermarket. He felt that the chocolate tasted similar to the chocolate he had eaten before. He remembered Shirei Shi, who was also good at making sweets. Finally, they had a clue. But when they met Shirei Shi, she forgot that it was Valentine's Day. That meant it wasn't Shirashi who sent the chocolate. They both became even more curious. After school, Tanaka became increasingly afraid of the chocolate he ate. He was afraid something would happen. Luda guaranteed that nothing bad would happen. Not long after, a cell phone fell from his bag. He panicked. It looked like the cell phone was recording. Not long after, Hino came. She had finished shopping at the supermarket near the school. Then Tanaka told her what was happening. It turned out that the cell phone belonged to Reno. She had put it in her brother's bag by mistake. She did that because she wanted to listen to the teacher's explanation in class, which was too fast. That was why she recorded her teacher's voice, so that the teacher could hear his own voice. After that, Reno invited Uda to her house. Tanaka thought that if Uda went to his house, then he could ask Uda to carry him from home to school. It would be easier for him. When he got there, Uda was surprised by the number of shoes in the house. Then Reno made coffee for Uda. However, the coffee was too bitter, even though Uda had its own coffee measurements. Uda saw that Reno was much more diligent than Tanaka. However, Reno saw Tanaka as normal because she was used to her brother's laziness, so she never reprimanded her brother. After that, Reno asked about the closeness of the two of them. Because Uda didn't want any misunderstandings, he told Tanaka what he usually did. But Reno thought something strange. She told Uda to turn Tanaka into an independent person. Reno then offered Uda his coffee again. However, because it was bitter, Tanaka suggested eating chocolate with it. Reno immediately asked where the chocolate came from. Uda said that the chocolate was given to him by someone. They explained that the sender had no bad intentions because the chocolate tasted good and there were no side effects when eating it. Because Tanaka was afraid to eat it, so Uda spent more than half of it. Then Reno told Uda to go home and reasoned that it was already afternoon. After he came home, Reno said that the chocolate was her own. She deliberately gave bitter chocolate to Uda because Reno knew that he liked sweet chocolate. The point was that Tanaka couldn't be approached by anyone. On the other hand, Tanaka realized that the chocolate was made by his younger sister. Even though Reno had made the chocolate for her brother, but instead, Uda almost finished it. Then she thought about the cell phone that Tanaka brought with him. When she played the recording, it only had Uda's voice. A few days later, Uda didn't go to school. Usually, he went to school every day and never missed one day. This made his friends not believe it and were surprised. Then Tanaka got the task of delivering assignment papers to Uda. Finally, he asked Ekshizen for help because her house was next door to Uda. But Ishizen instead told Tanaka to deliver it himself. Moreover, all this time Tanaka had been helped by Uka. Tanaka wanted to take it, but he didn't know where his house was. Like it or not, Ichizen accompanied him. Ichizen was surprised that Tanaka didn't know Uda's house yet, even though the two of them were very close friends. Ichizen didn't want to go home with Tanaka, so Ichizen walked first some distance from Tanaka. Soon, they arrived. When Tanaka was talking to Uga, Ichizen threw her shoe at Tanaka's head. Uda felt happy that Tanaka was carrying out his assignment's paper. Tanaka didn't say that he was able to find Uda's house because of Echizen's help. After that, he went straight home. The next day, Uda was able to go to school again, but his legs were still hurt. It turned out that Uda previously helped an old lady. Because he wasn't careful, he sprained his foot. His friends were worried about who would take care of Tanaka because Uda was sick. Usually, Uda was the one who always took care of Tanaka. So this time, Tanaka would be the one to take care of Uda. Tanaka tried out a habit that Uda often did to him, but he couldn't hold Uda. Uda asked him to just do what he could. Then they left the classroom. Uda imagined if the floor turned into an escalator so he didn't have to walk. Soon, the choir lessons started. Uda was asked to sit down because his leg was hurting. Meanwhile, Tanaka stood up. After the choir, Tanaka wanted to buy bread for Uda. When he came back, he was tired. He heard that if someone was tired then, they should eat sweets. So he ate Uda's bread. When in class, Uda was given savory bread instead. A few moments later, Ichizen came and gave him sweet bread. Because the teacher for the next lesson was not there, they had to learn on their own. But Tanaka went straight to sleep. Uda also didn't want to wake Tanaka. But soon Tanaka had a nightmare. Uda told him to do his homework first and then sleep again after that. Tanaka could do his job quickly. It was an English assignment, but Tanaka answered in Japanese instead. 
It seemed that Tanaka had given up and answered simply. Uda told Tanaka to change his answer to English. Tanaka was really lazy about doing it. Uda said that English was a universal language. If he had mastered English, it would be safe to go anywhere. Tanaka was actually still lazy, but he worked on those questions but only got stuck at number two. Uda also didn't understand some of the questions there. They wanted to ask, but the teacher was not there. They wanted to ask Shiraishi, but she was focused on her work. Asking Katu and Shimura was also impossible. Finally, they answered as best they could. Not long after it was finished, the emergency alarm sounded. The students all went to the field. When they got there, Tanaka wasn't there. Not long afterward, he appeared. It turned out that Tanaka got lost, even though he himself went to school there. That was the result of Uda always carrying him here and there. After that, they went home. Because Tanaka started to realize that he couldn't live without Uda, so he wanted to make Uda's day the same as Mother's and Father's day, but it looked like Tanaka would definitely forget again later. Long story short, Uda's leg had healed. Tanaka gave him a gift for Uda's day, namely a ticket to travel alone without having to carry him. However, when the lesson was about to start, Uda carried him again because Tanaka was very slow. Coming home from school, Uda saw that at McDonald's there was limited edition food. He was interested in trying it, but Tanaka didn't want to because the service there was always fast. He was slow, didn't want to order like he was in a rush. Uda was about to leave. He would go there again next time alone. Suddenly, Tanaka grabbed him. He saw that there was a menu with a cleaning robot toy as a prize. Finally, he wanted to order the menu. But unfortunately, the menu was out of stock. Finally, he just ordered a strawberry milkshake. The waitress there looked scared. She said she would deliver the food to Tanaka and Uda's table. Tanaka actually enjoyed being forced to wait and being served food. Uda was surprised because Tanaka only ordered that. Tanaka was aiming for a menu with toy prizes, but it had sold out. When Tanaka was about to drink his drink, he seemed to be having difficulty. The waitress seemed afraid to see Tanaka. Uda said that Tanaka should wait for the drink to become a little liquid before he could drink it. Uda also told Tanaka to eat his potatoes first. Tanaka also felt that he who previously didn't like McDonald's actually felt comfortable. Maybe it was because the place was actually nice. If there was a menu with prizes for toys, maybe he would come there often. However, the waitress who served them thought that Uda and Tanaka were bad people. She finally complained to her manager about people who wanted to buy food packages with toy prizes. After eating, Tanaka and Uda went home. It looked like the waitress was still scared. But Tanaka and Uda put on normal faces, like good people. After a few days, Uda took Tanaka to McDonald's again because there was another toy package edition. Tanaka immediately wanted to go there. When they got there, they ordered immediately. The waitress from yesterday also thought badly of them again. However, Uda just realized that he had left his cell phone at school. He wanted to take it back to school and asked Tanaka to wait there and not go anywhere. After that, Tanaka slept on the sofa while waiting for Uda. On the other hand, there was a little girl named Saya who was looking for an empty chair. Because she didn't see Tanaka on the sofa, she intended to sit there. Suddenly, she was shocked because the sofa was still being used by someone else who was sleeping. Not long after, Rino came and immediately approached Saya. She was surprised to see her brother there. Tanaka woke up and remembered thinking he was home already. Saya was surprised that Tanaka was Rino's older brother. She was immediately embarrassed and did not dare to speak loudly. She saw Rino's older brother, who was tall, had white skin, and was handsome. Meanwhile, her brother looked like a gorilla. Rino felt that she rarely went on dates after school with her brother. She must be able to take advantage of this opportunity. That Rino went to order juice and left Saya and Tanaka alone. Saya actually got nervous. Tanaka then asked who Saya's brother was who looked like a gorilla. On the other hand, Rino, who ordered a drink, scared the waitress because Rino looked like Tanaka. Soon, Uda came. He left for a while because there was an obstacle in the way. He was surprised to see his sister there. It turned out that Saya was Uda's younger sister. Tanaka only found out about this because he had just met Saya. Rino, who returned to the table, was in a bad mood seeing Uda and asked to go home immediately. Not long afterward, they went home and separated. Uda knew that Saya was in a happy mood. Meanwhile, Rino was the opposite. Arriving at home, Rino, who had prepared dinner, asked Tanaka to eat. But he didn't want to. He was still too lazy to eat while seeing his cleaning robot. But when the cleaning robot went off, he joined Rino in eating. Long story short, Tanaka took Oda to the public swimming pool. Strangely, he was the one who asked Oda to swim, but Tanaka himself couldn't swim. Luckily, he brought a float, so it wasn't a problem for him. Before that, Uda invited Tanaka to warm up first so that his body wouldn't get stiff. But just moving a little, Tanaka's body started to cramp. After warming up, Tanaka entered the swimming pool and got on his float. 
Not long after he was enjoying the swimming pool, two small children disturbed Tanaka. They mocked Tanaka, who was already big but still using a float. Luckily, Uda came to scold the two little brats. Suddenly, Tanaka's life jacket was flat, and the two little brats felt guilty. After that, they decided to rest first. The two little children felt even more guilty. While resting, Tanaka could only take a walk by the water. However, there was one technique that was quite lazy, namely that he could float easily. It was very practical, which made Uda and the two small children want to learn too. As a result, Tanaka taught them. Meanwhile, McDonald's employees apparently changed jobs. Unfortunately, she again met Tanaka, who was teaching his strange, lazy swimming style. After that, the children immediately called Tanaka as a teacher, because Tanaka had already taught them how to float properly and lazily. Soon, they both went home. On the other hand, Uda was tired after swimming and asked to rest first. When he regained his strength, he would carry Tanaka home. The next day, yesterday's two little children came again. It turned out that Tanaka's floating movements had spread throughout their school. Their teacher also didn't understand what style it was. Tanaka felt guilty because he had spread a technique that would ruin future swimming competitions. The next day, a class Miyano was seen drinking a lot of milk so she could get taller quickly. But it was impossible that in five days she could add 10 centimeters by drinking that. She did that because Ichizen invited her to see the fireworks festival wearing a yukata. So she wanted to look mature and taller. But the problem was that Miyano only had yukata with cartoon pictures. Although Miyano was actually suited to wearing a yukata with a cartoon pattern, Tanaka gave the idea of watching fireworks at home, so she didn't have to wear a yukata. But Uda instead told her to just look for yukata for adults because there were definitely ones for all sizes. Finally, Miyano decided to leave after school and invited the two of them. Shiraishi also happened to be there, so Miyano invited her too. After that, they arrived at the clothes shop. They started choosing nice yukata. Shiraishi had never seen fireworks. All this time, she watched at home so she didn't wear a yukata. Miyano had the idea to go together while on summer vacation. Tanaka was really lazy about joining in. Meanwhile, Shiraishi already had an appointment with her friends. They started looking again. This time, Tanaka and Uda were very persistent in searching. After that, Miyano and Shiraishi tried on yukata. When Shiraishi wore it, she looked really beautiful. Shiraishi looked embarrassed. But she was happy when she was given praise by Tanaka. But when it was Miyano's turn to wear a yukata, the yukata was too big. Even though she was wearing clogs, it didn't help much. Suddenly, Miyano started talking about Shiraishi's big breasts. But Miyano tried to ignore it. Miyano planned to just go home. When she was about to part ways, Shiraishi thought of something. Because Miyano always helped her. This time, she wanted to return the favor by making her own yukata. Coincidentally, she liked sewing. Even though Shiraishi had never made a yukata, she would try. After that, they bought the necessary materials. The fireworks festival had arrived. Tanaka and Uga, who were waiting, were surprised by a yukata worn by Miyano, which seemed to suit her perfectly. It didn't take long for Ishizen to arrive. She was immediately happy to see Miyano's very cute appearance. Both Tanaka and Uda's guesses were wrong when they saw the yukata worn by Ichizen. They thought that Ichizen would wear an eccentric and revealing yukata. Ichizen saw the yukata worn by Uda. She remembered going to a festival with Uda. It turned out Uda also still remembered. He used to praise the yukata that Ichizen wore. Only Ichizen pretended not to remember. Ichizen, who initially wanted to praise the yukata Uda was wearing, saw that Uda looked indifferent, and he immediately left. Ichizen was so angry that she threw ice cubes at Uda's head. Soon the fireworks started. However, because Miyano wasn't tall enough, she couldn't see the fireworks. The next day, Tanaka's class received good news. The class was allowed to make a haunted house at the cultural festival later. Shirashi, as class president, immediately distributed the tasks, but it was different with Tanaka. He was really lazy about participating in festivals which only drained his energy. He tried to make himself disappear when they wanted to practice. However, Shiraishi appointed Tanaka and Oda to be the ghosts because they were the remaining people. So for the sake of their class, they had to accept it. Then Shimura tried to find material for the jump scare later. Tanaka disappeared again, which made this technique useful for becoming a ghost. If Uda could say being a ghost didn't require hard work. Tanaka, who heard this, became enthusiastic. Tanaka's initial training was just for a simple scare, but he scared himself instead. Miyano suggested him appear at the well. But that was actually a big mistake. Such a place could make Tanaka sleep. As a result, to make it look like practice, Uda drew fake eyes on Tanaka's eyes. Then Tanaka woke up and rubbed his eyes, which made them black. With that appearance, Tanaka was even scarier. Now it was Uda's turn to get a hand-shaped jump scare. But because he was tall, people won't be surprised. They have to find another way. 
After that, Tanaka was told by Shiraishi to wear the kimono she lent him to make his ghost costume. Luckily, the kimono fit Tanaka's body, but Shiraishi told him to change his collar. Tanaka innocently took off his clothes in front of Shiraishi. Soon, Tanaka met Uda. He had also changed costumes, too. He got the part at the end. After that came a Chizen. She shocked Oda and Tanaka. It turned out that a Chizen's friend was not just Miyano. After that, they continued working. Finally, after several hours of preparation, it was complete. It was time to test the haunted house first. There are only three jump scares in their haunted house. The first was Tanaka, who appeared from the well, then the hands that appeared from the wall, and the last was Uda. When Uda's part arrived, he was tied up and told to stay in a dark place. But Uda came out too, so all this time he was really afraid of ghosts. He was forced to accept the role of a ghost to help. At first he thought it would be fun, but it turned out to be just as scary. As a result, because of the event tomorrow, Miana would replace Uda. The next day, the festival started. Many students had tried to enter there. But when it was Miyano's turn to issue a jump scare, everyone thought she was funny, and not all scary. On the other hand, Uda was the door guard. Sure as she provided value given by incoming customers. On average, they thought that their haunted house was quite scary. Most visitors thought that Tanaka was scary. After that, they rested first. Tanaka then looked for a place to rest. He wanted to invite Uga, but he was busy helping people. Finally, he looked alone. Then he met Shizen, who had changed into a woman wearing a maid outfit. After finishing his break and wanting to continue, Tanaka had returned yet. Finally, Katu replaced Tanaka temporarily. Meanwhile, Tanaka is on the emergency stairs looking for peace. He saw that there was a box there that made him comfortable staying there. On the other hand, there was a missing child. Therefore, Shimura and Uda went to look for him and looked for the missing Tanaka. But instead, they looked for small children and Tanaka while buying snacks. Before long, he went to the stairs that led to the roof. Suddenly, Tanaka heard that someone was calling him. When he slowly woke up, Uda was scared and immediately fainted. Tanaka couldn't wake him up, let alone carry him. So he slept there too. He wanted to sleep for a while, but instead lingered until the afternoon. Shimura and Katu, who were passing by, immediately woke them up and said that the event was over. Tanaka Dan Uda apologized, but luckily, there was a backup for the haunted house, so it wasn't a problem. They asked Uda and Tanaka to help them clean up. After finishing everything, they celebrated the success of building a haunted house. The next day, news emerged that there was something on the stairs leading to the school roof. Uda, who saw it yesterday, immediately told Tanaka to bring salt so he wouldn't be disturbed. Even though Tanaka himself was the ghost, that day was the day their seats would roll. Uda was curious where he would do it. He had predicted that Tanaka would be lazy and his seat would be moved. It could be seen that Uda had put a spell on his hand. But when Oda continued to question Tanaka, he didn't want to talk. Tanaka threatened that if he spoke while eating, he would have bad luck. Other students also said the same thing. Not long after entering, Tanaka got the front seat, which he didn't expect. He became lethargic. Meanwhile, the short ones like Miyano, she was at the back close to Uga. As a result, Uda wanted to offer to swap places, but Tanaka quickly offered to trade with her. Miyano was so excited to be at the front again. Tanaka was relieved too. Initially, Tanaka had resigned himself to sitting in the front, but he was lucky this time. After several days of sitting, Shirashi, who sat close to Tanaka, rarely chatted. She had to find a way to get closer to Tanaka. As a result, she read the method. The first was with a greeting, but failed. Then showed it to her manager, but failed too. When she showed her femininity with a little glance, it didn't seem worth it to him. After finding out that Tanaka liked to be absent-minded, Shirazi had to help Tanaka when he needed it. But when she intended to help again, Uda was quicker to respond. So she thought about giving up and she was better off going back to the time when Tanaka had just found out about Shiraishi's true form, who liked to chat. Soon, Miyano arrived there. She encouraged Shiraishi not to give up. Shiraishi was immediately motivated to keep going. But after several days of constant monitoring by Tanaka, he stated that he didn't need attention. He was better off alone. Shiraishi was heartbroken. No matter how far she tried, she would fail. Not long after Tanaka, who was still there, advised Shiraishi that, for example, if she failed today, there would still be tomorrow. If it was still not there the next day, the process didn't take long. It could take years like this. Shiraishi was excited again. She slowly wanted to get close to Tanaka. After school, Shimura and Katao saw Tanaka hanging out with a girl. The next day, Shimura and Katu were immediately excited to ask about this. They were jealous that Tanaka was secretly dating. They saw the girl with braided hair wearing glasses who was none other than Shiraishi. Tanaka had realized it, and he had to protect Shiraishi's identity. He said that the girl was just his friend. But Shimura didn't believe it. He continued to insist on finding the truth. 
Shiraishi tried to defend Tanaka, but it did not affect Shimura. Buddha believed Shimura's words this time. He wouldn't carry Tanaka again even though he could carry two people. Mayana was also disappointed because Tanaka didn't tell her he had a girlfriend. In a hurry, Tanaka came home from school because his friends had been talking a lot about him. He immediately went home with a scary face. Shiraishi felt guilty. She had to explain the truth to the others. But Miyano blocked her. After that, Wuda went home with Ekshizen. He told her that Tanaka already had a girlfriend. However, Ekshizen thought it was strange that Wuda was also going to ask him out. He just offered to carry her on the way home. Meanwhile, Tanaka, who wanted to find peace, was chased by dogs. If Oda was there, he didn't need to keep running. He thought that if he had just gone home with his friends like before, it wouldn't have been such a hassle. Tanaka thinking that he was alone made him even more troublesome. On the other hand, his friend noticed that Tanaka didn't come home with his girlfriend. There, Uda realized that the person with braids and glasses was Shirishi. He admitted that she was a teacher for making macarons. On the other hand, Tanaka was weak that day. He realized that he couldn't live without Uda. The next day, his friends apologized to Tanaka for misunderstanding him. After that, Shirishi also apologized. But Tanaka understood that since that incident, he shouldn't have a girlfriend. Hearing this shocked Shiraishi, but she would continue to try slowly. This is the end of Tanaka Kun. Thank you so much for staying in this channel and watching our videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep you updated with our latest contents. See you in the next video.